Recently, one of my favorite YouTubers by the name of Mitten Squad took a indefinite hiatus due to some personal issues, and it's really sad because I really look forward to and enjoy watching his videos. I love Fallout New Vegas. I think his content is hilarious, so if you haven't seen it, you should definitely go and check it out. It got me through just the blatant boringness of being in quarantine for the last, like, I mean, I didn't say I've been in quarantine for the last few months, but like the first few months of quarantine, his videos really got me through that. It's just, you know, a, a time sink. So it's really upsetting to see his temporary departure from YouTube, but hopefully he gets the help that he needs and can come back and continue creating hilarious content. So today I wanted to film something Mitten Squad-ish with a coil wine twist. And that is, can I beat Fallout New Vegas before my backup battery dies? So this is a power supply, or a UPS as people call it. It is a CyberPower 1500 amp, 1500 VA. I don't know what the numbers mean. I'm pretty sure it's good for like 30 to an hour, maybe more depending on your PC setup. I got it because the way that the camera films, I use a dummy battery with it, and if the power goes out, it'll immediately delete that footage. So it creates a buffer between the power going out and me being able to rush over and turn off the camera to save whatever footage that I have. It's also good for things like leaving your Wi-Fi router on it, and if the power goes out real quick, you don't have to wait 15 minutes until your Wi-Fi turns back on, or if you have like a mining rig and you just leave it on all the time and you know, power flickers all the time. If you live in some rural areas, it flickers more than, more often than others. But you know, this, that, that minute, I don't think it's really meant to be used like this where, you know, your power goes out for like more than an hour and you can just sit here and keep playing video games, but I might as well give it a shot. So today the system we have set up over here on Benchy is a Ryzen 3 3100. I picked it because it's a nice low power CPU. It'll give me the best chance of winning. And I could have totally copped out by going with like a 3200 or a 3400G and using the internal GPU, but I thought, eh, let's just go ahead and use an actual GPU. I have a NVIDIA GTX 1650, not super. It's a 75 watt part. It doesn't even have an external power connector. It is a low profile one from the Optiplex. The, the parts that I'm using, I'm gonna go ahead and fire up Fallout New Vegas and then I'm gonna pull the plug. And this thing's gonna get really freaking annoying. So we're on battery power. And every few seconds is gonna do an annoying beep. And there's nothing I can do about that. I can't tell it to stop. I'm pretty sure it's just letting you know, hey, you're on battery, you're on battery power. So look out. Now I'm by no means a speedrunner. I have my own quick way of beating Fallout New Vegas in less than an hour, but hopefully the setup I picked, I'll have more than enough battery to beat the game. For this run, I max endurance and charisma because I'm pretty much going to be eating bullets and explosions the entire time. Give Doc Mitchell a little shove. I also tag speech. Explosives and medicine. Now I could do reload dashing, but I don't actually know how to do that, so my placebo stop hopping will have to do for me. I made my way over to Black Mountain because it's definitely the safest way to the strip. It was at this point, minutes into the run, that I realized I don't have any water and it's getting quite hot in my garage. Ran further up Black Mountain than I needed to discover it. I actually discovered it, but I didn't notice. Ran off the side of the mountain, being very careful not to break my legs. At this point, the power supply was saying 75 minutes left, which if you weren't me, you'd have nothing to worry about. I came upon a group of NCR soldiers that I needed some armor from, hoping that the raiders would kill one and I could innocently slip into that drip. The raiders sucked, I had to do it myself. Forgot, and had to go back and steal my disguise. Should have quick saved before pissing off the NCR, but oh well. Went sightseeing and found the scene from the trailer. Made my way into Camp McCarran, so I could hop on the Hogwarts Express, 
Didn't make it to Hogwarts. Discovered the White Glove Society. Remembered I needed to kill Benny. Dumped a whole bunch of points in the speech. And unlocked the Black Widow perk. Ran up on Benny and offered him a good time. He did not have a good time. Met Yes Man and discovered a need for power. Removed the current man from power. Injected Yes Man into Mr. House. And triggered the longest unskippable cutscene in any game ever. And I was off to discover all the factions in the game to do to them like I do my girlfriend and ignore them. Might as well do the worst one first, the boomers. They're only bad because I have a magnet for mortar shells in my ass. Remembered to quick save here because I'm going to be dying, especially because I don't have any noise triggers to tell me when I'm about to be obliterated. Got hit by a mortar. And died. And again. And one more time for good measure. Before I realized, I was wearing medium armor, and that was slowing me down. And on my first try with light armor, I made it through with only a minor case of serious limb damage. Met Pearl Harbor. Headed back to Good Springs so I could get my ass chewed out by Cazadors on my way to Red Rock Canyon to meet the lame cons. Snuck past the Cazadors without getting turned into a meal. Discovered the place they call Red Rock Canyon for some reason. Fast traveled to Hidden Valley for some ranch dressing. Didn't find any ranch dressing. Found the box art for every Fallout game. Forgot to meet the Omeritas at Gamora. Met the Omeritas. Annoyed the NCR even further by activating the power station at El Dorado. Yes, I pronounce it like that. What are you going to do about it? And off I was to the final battle of the Hoover Dam. Haha, <laughs> let's do this. Immediately get lost in the dam for like 10 minutes. I'm really awful at directions, especially when there's a pointer that points through walls. Made it out of that damn dam and made my way to the Legman camp. Found the leg man, talked about him doing something stupid, like I'm one to talk. And then this guy showed up. So we threw him off the dam. And there it is, Fallout New Vegas, done before my backup battery ran out of power. Wow, this thing is pretty warm. I could have probably gone with a bigger system than this, but I figured I wanted to be safe. Because one, I'm not a speedrunner. Two, I don't know the game that well. I mean, I know it pretty well, but I don't, you know, like, there's people who know this game on, like, an inner level, and then I'm just doing a quick speed run. I wanted to do this because of our boy Mitten Squad going through tough times, and I wanted to show him that there are people out there who really care about him and care for his well-being. So if you like this video, guys, hit like. Get subscribed, go check out Mitten Squad. I mean, obviously he's like a million times bigger than I am, but watching his videos really do really does bring me joy. And being able to do this today also brought me a lot of joy. So thanks for watching. Have a great day.